Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim. So by now, I think you may have seen this particular panoramic radiograph um, at least more than once because I've used this to create uh, several quiz questions. But I wonder, you know, how many of you have noted something that's very, very unusual about uh, this image? And uh, if you did pick this area out just from the panoramic image you've seen so far, I uh, good job, and I'm very, I, I'm very uh, impressed. So in case you didn't see it, that's uh, that's absolutely okay. But I want you to take a closer look at the anterior mandibular region. Obviously, um, <coughs> the image is slightly distorted due to the patient positioning uh, error. Um, it certainly could have been positioned better to bring out the appearances or details of uh, anatomic uh, landmarks and um, yeah, landmarks in this area. But if you look at this area more carefully, so let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Here we have uh, canine lateral incisor, central incisor, central and lateral incisor, so that's 24, right? Tooth number 24. So do you see that there is a radiolucency that appears to be relatively uh, centered around this uh, tooth number 24? So what do you think? I mean, if you see that, right, this is your very first panoramic image, and the patient is asymptomatic, as a matter of fact, what would you have said? I mean, would you have said anything that this area needs a further examination or um, maybe you didn't see it at all, right? You just ask the patient, come back in six months for a follow-up visit. So um, if you pick this area out, uh, that's good for you. You did a very good job. And if you didn't, that's okay. Continue to watch my videos and you will con you'll get better at interpreting radiographs. So this area definitely um, suggests that there may be a, a, a potential a lesion in this, at this site. So <coughs> we have uh, a radiograph, a closer radiograph of this area. Obviously at this point I think all of you should note that there is a radiolucency, right? Again, tooth number 24. A well-defined radiolucency. Um, what about the overall uh, location? Yes, it is associated with number 24, but it doesn't appear to be centrally um, associated with the uh, root apex, right? It's definitely more laterally located, medial to um, number 24. And keep in mind, the patient is asymptomatic. Now I have a periapical radiograph of this area. Um, <coughs> again, uh, well defined and corticated around the radiolucency, extending from the apex to close to about mid root left mid root of number twenty four. Uh, as far as we can tell, the lamina dura uh, is uh, affected by this lesion and it's a little difficult to tell whether this lesion has caused any displacement. Um, at an initial glance, it may appear that the distance between 24 and 25 may be a little bit more than what we're used to seeing, uh, but it's a little difficult to be definitive, to definitively say that there's a displacement. Uh, and also, I would say it's, I don't see any overt sign of root resorption uh, overall length of the root is very similar to that of number 25. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Uh, if you say, is that a sign of resorption? Uh, possibly, right? But again, with uh, this radiograph, it's very difficult to determine its extent buccal lingual, buccal in, the, in a buccal lingual dimension. So now, uh, do your best job, right, to uh, spatially visualize this uh, in three dimension, like how would you draw this lesion in your head, right? That's always important to do that. Uh, put yourself in that position before I show you uh, in Comim CT scan how it appears in Comim CT. So now this is that lesion. <coughs> so here's the axial view. 
here's that um, corrected coronal and here's a sagittal view so as I scroll up and down along the long axis of the tooth you can clearly see that there is a radiolucency that has extended somewhat anteriorly uh, causing thinning of the buccal cortex and likely perforation localized perforation right there of the buccal cortex and again um, as far as I can tell uh, no overt overt evidence of re resorption as of yet <coughs> And uh, yeah, let's look at this in the co uh, coronal section as well. You can see how it actually comes down a little bit. Okay. And here's the sagittal section. Disruption of the buccal cortex. And there it is. Uh, here's a 3D rendering. This was imaged today and also the biopsy was done today as well, um, shortly after the Comim CT scan. So I'll keep you updated once we find out what this is, but in the meantime, it's a good idea for you to think about uh, your own, you know, come up with your own differential diagnosis based on this appearance. I think what was most challenging uh, was the fact that this tooth tested vital, at least that's what I've been told. and without that vitality or without that information I think most likely cause or diagnosis of this radiolucency would be apical periodontitis right but the fact that the tooth is vital and presumably patient um, has had ha has had never has had had yeah sorry never has had any discomfort with that tooth so that definitely changes uh, different um, possibilities for this lesion right so think about that uh, as you look at the scan and uh, I'll keep you updated thank you very much see you next time